All right, so hot dogs, pretty basic barbecue food, but who says they gotta be today? Kowalski's is kicking off summer in all its stores and celebrating 40 years. And they're talking about upping your hot dog game. Rachel Perrin is joining us now uh, with a look at how to do hot dogs better. We're gonna up, up, up your hot dog game okay, today. Okay, that's the a lofty best goal. Hot dogs that you have ever had. Deal. We, now we sell Akushi beef in the store. Okay. Akushi is a Kobe style Wagyu beef, so it's Japanese red cattle, best beef. You know, you know the Wagyu story. I do. You you love it. We love it in steaks. We love it in burgers. We thought, why not make hot dogs? You make Wagyu hot dogs? Akushi hot dogs. Wow. These are the best of the best. So if you want a good, tender, buttery, delicious hot dog for your picnics, your barbecues, this is the one to go for. I got a couple. I'm gonna pull off the grill here. Okay. You've been barbecuing. We've been cooking some up. And I'm gonna show you a fun way to make the most of all the delicious buttery flavor on these babies with a fun play on a banh mi sandwich. You, okay. you know a banh mi? Of course I do. Banh mi is a Vietnamese style sandwich. It's not typically made with beef, but I think the flavors play really well with the flavors of the akushi beef. And I'm gonna show you my favorite tip of the day. Yes. The bun. Yes. Don't cut the buns this way. Like most people cut them across like You're the side. You're saying cut it on top. Cut it on the top. Yeah. And you can only do this with the buns that you buy in the bakery because they are not sliced already. Right. Which is good because they're fresh. We bake them for you every day. So these are nice and soft on the inside. But the best part about this bun being cut this way is that it will sit on your tray and not tip over. And or not on roll your plate. Over. It's not okay. going to roll over That's kind of a brilliant plate. life hack. It's just You're changing a, lives. It's life hacked. You're it's, changing it's lives. Better. I told you, bigger, bigger, bigger hot dog game. Here yeah. it is. So cut the buns across the top and that's where you're going to put your hot dogs right into the top. And I'm again, still freaking out that there's Wagyu beef and hot dogs. Why How not? much do these cost? <laughs> well, I don't actually I don't actually know, to be okay. honest with you. That's above my pay grade. All right. But they're hot dogs, so they're affordable. Well, they look delicious. And they're really, really good. And they are the best hot dogs you can get. So definitely worth it. it. Okay. We're going to make a quick little banh mi style sauce to go with it. Okay. And I'm going to use a little bit of mayo for creaminess, obviously. Um, that's pretty common for a banh mi sandwich. And then to add in a little bit of umami flavor and a little bit of sweetness, I'm gonna use hoisin sauce. Oh, this yeah. is in the you know international foods aisle. Yep. I want just a little bit less hoisin than you have mayo, just to give it that little bit of sweet edge, and then sriracha, because of course you want Spice a little bit of heat. Yep. And that's, you know, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon or so. You can add a ton more, and you can even put them more on the hot dog when you're done with it too. So I'm gonna let you put a little bit of the sauce on the hot dog. Okay, sounds great. And I'm going to show you the, the best part of this sandwich is obviously, I just called a hot dog a sandwich, by the way. People are going to... It's a controversial they're gonna, deal. They're going to be questioning us you at this are, point uh, because I called a hot dog a sandwich. You did it now. All right, it's so here we there. go. It's okay. So the little bit of sauce, we're going to make a quick pickle with some sliced radishes, some sliced cucumber, and then a oh. little bit of matchstick cut carrots because the best part of the banh mi are those crunchy, spicy vegetables that you get on the top. So that's just vinegar and red pepper flakes? It's a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of water. I start it on the stove top so that the sugar melts. I see. And then I cool it down. But how long do you pickle them for before they're About like... 30 minutes. That's so it? These in the fridge been... or on the counter? You can just leave them on the counter for okay. 30 minutes. They're not going to get too soft at that point, but they're going to get soft enough where you you get still a little bit of crunch. We did this a little bit at home. I mean, it does not take long to it, take that flavor of the of the vinegar. They're really fun. And the one thing I would say too is 30 minutes is good. Don't go too much longer than 30. Like don't do them overnight because they are going to start to get a little bit too soggy. Strong. Yeah, yeah. And then also the red from the radish is gonna kind of come out there and it's gonna be a, look a little unappealing. Look at that. But then you, of course you wanna finish with um, a little bit of fresh jalapeno and cilantro? some fresh cilantro Yum. to kind of liven it all up. And we've got a bunch of other delicious looking hot dogs over there today, too. You have kicked up the hot dog. I have. That was an accurate tease. <laughs> I was telling them about Sonoran play. hot dogs. Have you ever heard of Sonoran hot dog? Sonoran. So it's a, it's, it's a Southwest. Yes. It's a Mexican bun, right? Yeah. They wrap the hot dog <laughs> in bacon. They put uh, mayonnaise and avocado on it as well. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, you know, that's going to be a little bit of a southern style. We've got one here with coleslaw and bacon and barbecue, a little sweet, a little heat. But Can I bring this over to the uh, <laughs> you better. esteemed guests you better. for a little banh mi hot dog Thank there, you. guys? I love all the, look at all the other ones. Should we bring them over, too? Let's bring those over well, we as well. we got a little bit of a Chicago-style dog okay. with sport peppers. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Detroit style chili dog. you get a shot of that, Marty? Take a look at that now. Oh my gosh, happy 40th anniversary to Kowalski. Yeah, it's our 40th anniversary. We're celebrating all this year. Today, especially in our stores, we're doing a big summer kickoff, 11 to 2. Come in and try all the summer foods that you're going to make your picnics and barbecues just beautiful and amazing.
Congratulations, by the way. Thanks. Wow. Well, yeah, congratulations to the Kowalskis. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> well, awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I went there 12, but you, so 12 over the 40. Well, so. congratulations yeah. to that. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, this isn't a regular hot dog. This no, this great. is like a whole meal. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's pretty good, yeah. I selflessly gave them the eat. They're eating well, it Well, right there's, there's, there's a lot more to be had. Our producer said, let's go. Does she mean get in there, or does she mean it's time to wrap up? Time to wrap up. I know. She said both. All right, I'm going to take a